During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up an AC high pot test, set up an insulation resistance test, also called an IR test, connect a 2975 tester, one of the testers in the 2900 series, to a device under test, also known as a DUT. Run the sequence and view test results. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highpot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 2975 tester. Check to be sure the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin remote input-output terminal on the rear panel of the 2975 tester. The tester will not output voltage unless this interlock key is properly plugged into the remote input-output. This allows the user to wire pins 4 and 5 up to the doors of a DUT enclosure for an extra measure of operator safety. A DUT enclosure provides a means of positive protection for the test operator. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the tester. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 2975 tester. On the startup screen, you will see the slaughter company name, model number, and firmware version number. From here, the tester will automatically navigate to the perform test screen. The perform test screen displays six parameters. Test type, status indicator, memory number, test time, test voltage, leakage limit or resistance limit. IR limits apply to the 2975 only. First, we're going to set up an AC high pot test. From the main screen, press the set key. The memory number is the first parameter. Use the up and down arrow keys to select a memory number for the test. You can set this value anywhere from 1 to 10. When your memory has been selected, press the set key again to navigate to the test type parameter. Once again, use the up and down arrow keys to set the test type. W indicates a high pot test. I indicates an IR test. WI indicates a high pot test automatically followed by an IR test. And IW indicates an IR test followed by a high pot test. The WI and IW settings allow the user to run two consecutive tests. For this video, we're going to run an AC high pot test followed by an IR test. Once you've selected WI, Press the set key to navigate to the next parameter, W mode. The W mode parameter is for the high pot test only and allows you to choose an AC or DC high pot test. Use the up and down arrow keys to select AC for an AC high pot test. Press the set key to accept this setting and move on to the next parameter, voltage. Using the up and down arrow keys, set the necessary parameters values. Press the set key to accept each parameter value and move on to the next parameter. This will eventually take you to the continuity parameter. Setting continuity to on will allow you to run a high pot test and a continuity test simultaneously. If you set continuity to on and press the set key, the next parameter will be R high limit and R low limit. This allows you to set a window of acceptable values for your continuity check. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the continuity limits and press the set key to navigate to the R offset parameter. R offset allows you to cancel any lead resistance from the continuity check. You can use the up and down arrow keys to set a value or you can auto set by pressing the test key. Keep in mind that if you auto offset, you need to short your continuity leads together in order for the tester to get a reading. After the high pot parameters have been set, the next parameter will be I volt. Since we set the tester up to run an AC high pot followed by an IR test, the menu will automatically navigate 
to the IR parameters after all the AC high pot parameters have been set. Just as with the AC high pot test, use the up and down arrow keys to change the parameter values and use the set key to accept the value and move on to the next parameter. Once you are finished setting all test parameters, press the exit key to return to the perform test screen. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 2975 to a DUT and run the test sequence we have set up. To connect the 2975 to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories. The high voltage lead, two return clip leads. If using the optional universal style adapter box instead of the clip style leads, you will need the adapter box. First, connect the return lead to the return terminal on the 2975 tester. Now, connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white Alden style connector into the HV terminal on the 2975. Once all of these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. If you're using the continuity feature on the tester, connect the other return lead to the continuity check terminal on the 2975 tester. If you're using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, first connect the return clip lead to the return terminal. Then, connect the adapter box to the continuity check and HV terminals of the 2975. To connect to the DUT, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductors of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line and neutral wires, which are the black and white wires, to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. If using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, simply plug the three prong cord of the DUT into the adapter box. If you're using the continuity feature, connect the continuity check lead to the ground pin of the DUT. If there is continuity between continuity check and return, the test button will illuminate green. This indicates that a continuity path exists between these two points and that the resistance of the path is less than the continuity high limit. If the green light does not illuminate and you attempt to run the high pot test, the tester will indicate a continuity failure and stop the test. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and push the test button to run your test sequence. Once your test sequence has completed, use the up and down arrow keys to review your results.